What's up everybody? Today in this video I'm going to show you another exciting topic that you've been waiting for and I saw it in many people's comments was that how can we turn our Casio Tone CTS200 our cheap Casio Tone CTS200 which is about $129 to one of the best chords keyboard which is about more than three four thousand dollar how we can hear that sound using your casio tone and how can we develop and create music with a cork software instead of using the traditional casio tone uh, sound engine and how can we do that without an audio interface so uh, the cable management and cable connecting cable i talked about it in my previous video but in case if you didn't want it, you want to see the full steps, go to our previous videos, the link is uh, at the end of the video, or you can also go to my channel and find that. But uh, right here, I'm briefly going to talk about it, I'm not going to show you the how I connected the cable. So, I connect the MIDI to the PC, and an aux from uh, PC's uh, audio, mm, the same one you connect to a speaker, audio output to Cassiotone audio input. Okay, now we want to know how can we turn this keyboard to a Cork uh, workstation. Let's go ahead and find out. So we can right here when we're playing it's by Casio. So what we do again, we go to function, we move on until we reach local control and we turn local control off and right now you can see you can hear the sound and we want to use the MIDI okay from now on I will move on to my PC so you can see better okay okay now you're on my PC screen we can see everything better and I can clearly talk about how you can convert this your Casio Tone CTS200 or even CTS300 or even LTS250 to one of the best called uh, keyboard. So what we need is a software that can generate uh, chord sound and uh, audio that it has the rhythm and everything. So in order to do this why not to use Cork itself application. So when you purchase a Cork uh, keyboard their application comes with it in which you can use it uh, and I know I tried that and I see that Casio Tone works perfectly with that application because Casio Tone is a MIDI and that keyboard is a MIDI so we're just using the keys of this keyboard with uh, the Korg application you can download the Korg application online Depending on where you are, the cost may be different or sometimes it may be free on the code website. So the application name is, let me show you, uh, Cork Wave Station. So when we go to Cork Wave Station, since we are not using an audio interface, I'm not using that in purpose because many people who are purchasing a Castle from CTS 200 or CTS 300 I know that they beginners or they just uh, very tight on budget and they don't want to spend extra $200 on audio interface so on all of my videos I create a way for you to not use an audio interface opposite of other YouTubers who are telling you that you must use an audio interface and the reason that they'll tell you that you must use an audio interface is because they're selling that audio interface in the description so they're advertising their own product and they're lying to you at the same time that you need the audio interface and without an audio interface the sound is not good so because of this reason I noticed that I'm a true YouTuber who's not trying to advertise anything or promote anything and I'm only doing this for my uh, viewers to learn something and that's enough for me if you learn something so I'm showing you a way that you don't need an audio interface and the reason that if you have a gaming PC or even a PC that have a uh, 
new motherboard like 2017, 18, 19, 20. Like I'm using a super budget gaming PC that I show you. Uh, I built it myself, and I know that this uh, PC, which is a Ryzen 3 PC, is capable of uh, B450 motherboard is capable of providing a sound even better than our, that audio interface. Or if you have a laptop that is running on Windows 10, your laptop is capable of providing you a sound even better than audio interface. At this level, because we're not working in the studio, we're just trying to uh, record our own song at home and use our Casio tone and that's enough for us. A motherboard and gaming PC or other PC or a laptop is enough for us. So in this application, in order to set it up, we need to go to preferences. And in preferences in driver type, you have to choose depending on your motherboard. So my motherboard is the right hand motherboard, therefore I'm using a direct sound. And then in driver, you choose your speaker. Uh, and for speaker, I choose speaker, uh, the real take audio, which is the audio from my motherboard. And remember, for this bit, uh, use 16 bits as 44 100 hertz and two channel, same as this one, and always put the buffer size at four, and the sample size at 1024. And we go to MIDI setting. For MIDI setting, device one use Casio USB MIDI, and for Clock Master use Casio USB MIDI. You click OK, and there you go. You can see that we're using Korg work st Wave Station, and this Korg has every series of Korg sounds built in inside this application. So, all of the Korg keyboards that Mary made so far, and all of the sounds are included in this one. As you can see, they're pre-installed in here, and even if you want to use the wrong from other um, uh, keyboards, you can always download that and go to File and Import. And for Casio Tone CTS 200 user who you don't have a pitch score, there you go. With this application, now you are able to use uh, the pitch score right here. See? <laughs> Or then we can move on to other ones. Or. Let's go to another keyboard. I'm not playing anything important, I'm just having fun showing you the different sounds. Let's go to a different one. And that's it. We can see that we were able to successfully use our Castleton CTS 200 and turn it into a core and using the code base station software. We can also do lots of other stu studio things with this Casio tone that I will show you in other videos, uh, including this, like, let me show you really quick. The code M1 software. Let me close this one. 
same with this, we have to go to preferences, direct sound, MIDI, Casio. <laughs> And then you can do lots of things in MIDI, change everything I'm going to show you in this one. In this you can create music and then thanks to the Casio Tone CTS200 that they didn't lock their MIDI, we can use this MIDI keyboard with almost any uh, software. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, just feel free to comment below. I'll respond as soon as possible. If you want me to create any other videos, you're more than welcome to go comment the name of that video or think about it, whether I can make it or not. And also, I made lots of videos, including how we can connect this the Cassetone CT series to your computer MIDI, how you can record the internal sound, how you can play MIDI in other applications such as BandLab or Cakewalk or uh, even other applications, how you can learn to play uh, many other ones. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and have a good day.